the nothingness exhaled a single thought into the mist, the insatiable desire to know the feeling of existence. The nothingness exploded, scattered stars into the distance. A bang so loud, creation's sound playing in God's system. The nothingness experienced exponential transformation, inventing countless life forms, intelligent, innovative. The nothingness stopped to reflect on all that it had done. The nothingness was everything, and everything was limitless. The rising sea, the rolling sun, the smallest stone, the bursting gun, the rain and cloud, the growing child, the burning thought, expanding now, the mindless chatter, an endless stream, a spot of hope, a light beam, a raging war, an open door in the mind of a dreamer searching for more. Who knew there was a world lurking inside a phone or that seven billion people could all feel alone? Hidden cameras, hidden agendas, new societal norms. But this is where the children escape, a spaceship, a portal. There's a mirror behind the mirror in these futuristic dreams. How do we see ourselves? We're humanizing machines, injecting soul into metal. Information is elemental, imagination essential. For the world we cannot fathom in which our children will grow. This is the rebirth of understanding. Reboot what you know.
I believe the soul is crafted by this physical terrain. And every string remembers us. They call us by our names. I believe that we are fashioned by the fragile balance between love and pain. When your thread breaks. Do you piece it together? Or do you fight change and remain the same? The threads that bind us to our dreams. The threads that lead us to our goals. The threads with which we weave our dreams. The threads that tie us to our fears, the needles that pierce our hearts with sorrow, the threads that link us to our past, the threads we climb to reach our futures, the threads we break in violent acts, the threads that bind us. When your thread breaks, do you piece it together? Or do you fight change and remain the same? We've come to the edge. Don't stare at the precipice too long. After all the bets are hedged, the future's fabric is formed by the hearts of the strong. The ledge is scary. Our legs are weary. And the fall to the bottom is long. How do you rise when you've never flown before? How do you believe in wings that are half formed? Quilted wings are made of discarded scraps. We sew the shards of forgotten memories into a mental map. One that disarms the limbs of envy every time it attacks. One that propels us into flying forward when the wind forces us back. We are heading towards the exploding star that heralds the end of days. We're shedding the tracks of ill-fitting norms, experimenting with the lines formed when you break form. We have entered the time when work is love, and love is a product of play. These are the hours to reach for what is worth rising for. These are the hours when visions are made. These are the hours that every human being can create. These are the hours when the past is a shape-shifting canvas and today is ours to make. These are the hours when choice cannot be denied. Responsibility is a dare we take. These are the hours when the lines of lies are no longer concealed. The cloak of smoke is exposed to be fake. No one stands up for those who choose to take a stand. No one holds you or consoles you. No one grabs your hand. All you get is what was gotten by those who've gone before you. One single silken strand. The pearl of owning that you dove into what had to be done. You listened to your heart's command. 